$74,000. That was the grand total of one year of RV living full time. But don't click away yet and don't go t -t -t on the keyboard just yet. You got to watch the video because there are some reasons. We have a lot of one time setup costs and there are things that we bought that not everyone else will buy. So you have to wait and see what that is. Now, are you guys ready for some hardcore truths about RV living full time, especially about money? If you are, and if you're new, hi, I'm Alice. And I'm Larry. And we are Downsize and Make Sense Like the Penny. And we do RV living full time videos. He does DIY, he does product reviews, and he does campground tours. I add a little fun things to do around campgrounds. Yeah, she's the flair. Well, we're gonna go over our yearly totals and monthly averages for the same categories as our first six months cost video, but organized a little differently. Now, if you haven't seen that video, I will leave a link right up here. Now, I've been tracking our expenses in Quicken for over 20 years. This video will include all of our expenses except anything related to our kids or my job that I just quit and does not include our truck or RV payments because we paid those off from the proceeds of our house sale. Budget goals will also be included for each category, something that I neglected to do the first time. If I had, maybe we'd be better on track for our expenses. At the end of the video, we'll go over totals and monthly averages for our first year. How do we do? Wait and see. Okay, now we're gonna get straight to some of the numbers and we're gonna go through some of these pretty quickly, especially this next group. Okay, so first of all, groceries. We spent $10,770 over the year, which averaged about $900 a month, which is very similar to what we were when we were in Sticks and Bricks. Yeah, I mean, we eat what we eat, that's not gonna change, so. I actually do have our budget goal for this is $783. We do have a couple of ways we could try to save some money but we're gonna give it our best shot. Mm. Next is dining. Dining out, we spent $882 dining out, which is about $74 a month. Yep, and dining, we dine out very rarely. We rather, we prefer to eat in the RV. The only time we dine out really is when we take our kids out. Yep. That's it. So our goal? Our goal is $83 <laughs> a we'll month. We'll see, we'll see. $83 a month, okay. Subscriptions, now this is just all of our subscriptions, like everything is a subscription these days. Mm -hmm. But it's, you know, it's all of our uh, LastPass and our Quicken and all, you know, all that stuff that you need subscriptions for. And we spent $1,180 or about $98 a month on our subscriptions. You know, you know, these things you just got to have. Okay. But we did drop all stays in Harvest Host because basically we didn't use it. And we dropped escapees because we basically use them for our discount on our lithium batteries and that's it. So what's our new goal? Our new goal is $83 because I had to add in wind alert for kite surfing, which is $100 a year. Whatever. <laughs> okay, mail. Okay, so mail, we spent $500 on mail for the year, which is about $42 a month. Um, you know, mail is mail. We spent a lot more in the first year. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we're gonna cut that down. Yeah, you know, it's one of those forwarding services and we're trying to use the boys more um, mainly just because I think it's hilarious when they like to text me a picture of our pile of mail and they say, so when are you coming to get your mail? It's pretty funny. It is pretty and, funny. And the other reason that has gone down in our budget is actually only $33 a month for this is because we've gone paperless on almost yes. everything yes. and very few things actually go to the mail service. Yeah. Okay, next is entertainment. Okay, so we spent $964 for the year on entertainment, about $80 a month. Okay. Now, a lot of this, um, I blame on Niagara. And when we were in Canada for a few months, that's our fault. We were pretty new and we were still kind of vacationing. So I know that's going to go down because the type of, what do we do for, for we have, entertainment? Our entertainment is biking and hiking and canoeing, basically being outdoors, which yeah. mostly is free. Yeah. So our new goal. Our new <laughs> goal is, uh, let's see here, $50 a month. I think we can do it. We can do it. So laundry, okay, this is a fun one. We spent $600 on laundry or about $50 a month. Okay, first of all, I'm very happy. Larry took over laundry duty once we came into the RV. I have no idea how I worked that. 
But we realized that doing laundry at our kids' house and when state parks have laundry machines themselves is a lot cheaper than going to the really big laundry mats. So we think we can get it down. So what's our new goal? So our new goal on laundry is $33 a month on laundry, which yeah. is doable. Okay, propane. We spent $306 for the year on propane, about $26 a month. I have nothing to say about propane. Propane's propane. If we're in a cold climate, we use more propane. Um, so our goal on propane is $33 a month. Souvenirs and gifts. Uh-oh. $959 for the year or about $80 a month. Okay. Now let me explain this. I, you know, because we're, we're downsizing, so I buy a lot of magnet stickers and pins, okay? And uh, my kids and some friends, I have bought souvenirs for them. So I'm not giving up my magnet stickers and hiker pins. So I guess you guys out there are not getting souvenirs anymore. Yeah, because our budget's only $50 a month. So I'm gonna hold you to your magnet and stickers and pin budget, 50 bucks a month. When you go over, we're cutting you off. Okay. Okay, household items. This is just like a miscellaneous category, just a bunch of crap that we had to buy yeah. that we couldn't fit in a category. Mm -hmm. it ends up $834 for the entire year, mm -hmm. which is about $70 a month. Yeah, that's not really going to change. So yeah, so it's so our budget is seventy dollars a month. It's just stuff that just didn't fit in any other categories. Yep. Okay, RV and truck maintenance and repairs. Mm. This is a big one. Two thousand and fifty-two dollars, or about a hundred and seventy-one dollars a month. Okay, but the the regular maintenance. You explain the regular maintenance. So you know, I have to get uh, fuel filters changed on the truck. Obviously, oil changes, rotation of the tires, axle service on the RV. That's your basic maintenance stuff. Okay, but why it went up is because one, our bumper broke, so we had to have a new bumper. It had to have be welded. So, you know, that's unexpected. Uh, you saw that leaf spring video. We broke a leaf spring, so we put the other three on, and I still, you know, I'm upset with Lippert for giving us a defective leaf spring, but they gave us four free leaf, leaf springs, so I love you back. So, and then we had uh, Ram, we had a really expensive Ram dually and one of the tires would def was defective. So we had to replace two those. tires, two yeah. tires. Stuff happens. And that's why we have a budget of $125 a month for this category. Because stuff like this is going to happen again. Hopefully we'll just be like the maintenance stuff and we won't have any of those crazy repairs, even though they do make fun videos. I don't know about fun. Yeah. <laughs> Camping fees. We spent $7,955 or about $663 a month on just camping fees. Okay, so this needs explanation. We are Thousand Trail members. We have the camping pass with the Southeastern Zone. Couple problems. We're in Canada for a few months. In Ontario, there's no Thousand Trails, so we're not saving money there. Plus, their provincial parks are like state parks, but even more expensive. And then, um, we had this problem with our lease spring, if you saw that video, and um, we lost a week of free Thousand Trail and spent an extra week at a state park. And we're in Florida during the winter, so good luck getting into Thousand Trails and Encores then. So we have stayed at a lot of uh, state parks, which is fine for us because we love them. And you know, when it comes down to it, like $700 a month for rent including utilities and water, and being able to be at these amazing places, I mean, I think it's worth $700 a month in rent, you know, slash mortgage. I think we actually did pretty good on this one for our first year. We, we love state parks and provincial parks, and those are a little bit more expensive. Our goal, our budget for this is $617 a month, which is just a little bit less yeah. than we averaged for, for the year. But, um, you know, we're not going to you know, change that too much. Mm -hmm. We really love those state parks. Yeah. Medical, mm -hmm. okay, $2,845 or $237 a month. Okay, so there is some big changes there. Larry, if you saw his I Quit video, we lost our like super special, awesome healthcare plan. And we had to do the, um, get the insurance through Affordable Care Act. So that number is going to go up. And, and we pay a lot more now. So what's our new budget? Yeah, so our new budget for medical is $511 a month. 
that is a big chunk. You know, we went from basically free mm -hmm. with my company to paying $460 a month just for our Affordable Care Act plan. But we need that. It's yeah. really important for us to have medical care and medical insurance. Clothing and personal items, $1,630 or $136 a month. Okay, so I blame part of this on Larry. And again, he quit his job. So he used to just live 24 seven in scrubs and he didn't have any um, like clothing. So that's partially on him. And I'm sorry, I'm still gonna get my t-shirts. So what's our new budget? I don't think so. Our new budget is $83. Part of that is because I do have to like build a wardrobe again because the suits and the scrubs are history. Yeah, yep. Truck, car, RV, umbrella insurance, and AAA, all kind of in an insurance kind of group, $4,810 or about $401 per month. Yes, that is going to drop because we're dropping the follow behind car and that's gonna save us how much a month? So it's to save us about $700 a year, just dropping the Rogue. But that means I have to get used to driving the big butt dually. She really needs to really embrace the dually. I love the dually, so we gotta get her on board, but that'll save us a lot of money because our new budget for that is only $350 a month because we're doing that. Okay. Diesel fuel. Mm. We spent $3,024 on diesel fuel or about $252 a month. Okay, that is probably again gonna go up because diesel, the, the dually doesn't get the, the miles per gallon that the Rogue did and diesel costs more but Larry says it's worth it. Yeah, it's just, you know, we're gonna save so much money by getting rid of the Rogue yeah. and the follow behind car and the insurance and all that kind of stuff. It'll make up for it by driving, by driving the truck, even though it will be driven more miles. Mm -hmm. But, you know, well, I don't mind spending money on fuel. Our new budget for this is $333. And that means that we are traveling. We are exploring and yes. seeing new stuff, that's true. the more diesel we spend. So that's actually a good thing. Life insurance. <laughs> we spent $1,540 for the year on life insurance. That's a $500,000 policy on me. That's $128 a month. But you guys have seen the videos. He bangs his head all the time, but he wants to drop this. We are getting rid of the life insurance. I want to incentivize Alice to keep me alive while we're on the road. What do you think? Should I get rid of the life insurance? Leave a comment. <laughs> Storage. Now we still have two storage lockers, which cost us $3,444 for the year or about $287 a month. Okay, so we did get um, our kids to take a lot of their stuff out of storage. We are planning on moving stuff in and getting it into one storage unit. Now, why do we still have one storage unit? We plan on someday having a home base, so, and we don't have anyone that'll let us keep our stuff at their place. So if you know, we're gonna always have at least one storage locker until we do get back into home base again. Yeah. So our, our budget for that is $200 a month. Mm -hmm. That's getting it down to one storage unit. Yep. The dogs. Okay. We spent $1,489 on the dogs or about $124 a month. Okay, we need to explain a little here. Um, our dog Chewy, uh, was a special needs dog. She had congestive heart failure, so we spent a lot of money on medications and tests. And this is the first time we've um, talked about this on camera. Chewy, um, Chewy died right before Christmas. And so we know this, this is gonna change, the cost is gonna change. And, um, but we still have Scrappy and she's an older dog and she doesn't need medication right now. But so, you know, we have, you know, the. The goal is is um, down. Yeah, so our, our budget for that is actually gonna go down to $50 a month. We'll have one dog now. But, um, you know, that really crushed us, but um, we will always have a dog with us on the road. Phones and internet, $3,620 or about $302 a month for the two iPhones that we have and an internet plan for the RV. Um, so we had a big change with that because AT&T um, limited our unlimited plan. So Larry got some new super system and he's gonna have to do a video about that. 
Yeah, so we, we really like having rock solid internet. We used to have just a hot spot and it was really weak, it was a pain. So now we have a new router with an expensive $140 a month internet plan, um, but it's something we need for the YouTube channel. And let's face it, we like to stream. Yeah, so what's our new? So the new goal is $365 a month for our phones and our internet. Hmm. But we need it. So we're gonna have a total here now the, the remaining things are one-time purchases, YouTube and solar, which most people are not gonna have. So if you're looking at this lifestyle and kind of get an idea of what you're gonna spend, we spent $49,404 or about $4,117 per month. But we definitely wanna get that down and again, we're living, you know, a certain lifestyle and not everyone is gonna live this lifestyle, but I think we really wanna get it down to like 3,000 a month, don't we? Well, our goal is 3,800 oh. <laughs> for the next year. But I think long-term, yeah. I really like to be at like that $3,500 mark. So that's our goal. I think we can do it. We can do it. Yeah. If we just buy less t-shirts. <sighs> so now we've gotten to the category, which is RV one-time purchases, our solar project and YouTube. These are expenses that most people won't have, mm -hmm. but we wanted to close all the money that we spent throughout the year. So we've kind of grouped it all into one category. Because Larry counts every, every penny. And that penny, all add up all those pennies, this category alone, $25,242 or $2104 per month. But explain. Okay, so a lot of this <laughs> is big purchases that we needed, like the Roland Lock, $1,500. Um, we spent $1,000 on a new router for the internet to have rock solid internet. Mm -hmm. You know, we got a new Blue Boy and a ladder and a microwave easy start. I mean, I could go on and on about the, the things that we had to add to the RV to make it fit us and this lifestyle. Now, in addition to that, we got YouTube. Mm -hmm. We spent about $7,000 on YouTube after we sub subtracted what we made from YouTube. Mm -hmm. And our goal for YouTube is for that to sustain itself from now. We're not going to spend any more money on YouTube unless the money coming in from YouTube kind of pays for it. But the main thing is, you know, $11,000 on solar and, and then we the micro air easy start. Now for us, we, we haven't boondocked yet and everyone thinks you don't need solar and lithium unless you boondock and that's not true because we dry camped in the Everglades if you saw that video and we are so glad that we had solar, lithium and the micro air easy start because we were able to run the air conditioner for a few hours, you know, it's, it's mid 80s in February in the middle of the Everglades. So it's not just for boondocking. Right, so some of the stuff, everybody will make these own choices. Yeah. That's what will be included at the end. Mm -hmm. So it's choices that we made and you will maybe make different choices, but you will have to spend some money to make this, you know, RV fit your lifestyle and the way that you want to travel. So that's why the number at the beginning of this video was $74,000 because it was 25,000 plus for stuff that we bought that was one time like setup costs that not everyone's going to have. Larry counts every penny and I mean every penny. That's a good thing and a bad thing, but really knowing your costs and having a budget is crucial. And making these videos pushes us to do that. And remember, at least 25,000 was spent on one-time setup costs that not everyone will want. And we did it when Larry still had a full-time job. Now, I'm really glad that we do these cost videos. It forces us to examine our expenses closely, whether you're living in sticks and bricks, planning a future full-time RV life, or already doing it, you need to know where you stand with your income, your expenses, and your savings. Now we'll do another cost video like this in about six months. Hopefully we'll have made some real progress in getting those expenses closer to where they need to be. Now are you planning a full-time RV lifestyle or already doing it? Please share your stories and experience of how you track and control your expenses and how much it costs to live full-time in an RV in the comments. You can also leave a comment on our Facebook and Instagram pages. Now, if you like this type of content, full-time RV lifestyle, RV DIY projects, campground tours, please consider subscribing to our channel by clicking this link down here. Now, we'll also leave a link for our first month's six months video mm -hmm. up here for you to check out next. And remember, downsizing still makes sense, like the penny.